Hello creative friends and welcome to the Stampin' Squad. Today's video is kind of like a part two. A few weeks ago I made a card and let me show you, remind you of this card that we did. We made a Christmas card and just in case you missed that one, I'm going to link the tutorial for this one right up here. So you can jump over there and take a peek at that one if you'd like to. But when we made this card, we die cut out this circle and then we didn't use it. So I set it aside and said, I'll make another card and use that circle. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Here's the circle that was cut out from the previous card. And we're going to use that and make a new card today. Um, and I do want to say I am trying to get over a cold. So if I sound a little funny, that's why. And also, um, you know when you have a cold and you feel a little loopy? <laughs> that's how I feel. So if I say something crazy or do something crazy, that's why. I don't, I'm not actually crazy. Okay, so um, here are the pieces. Let's talk about this. We're going to use Cherry Cobbler for our card base. And... This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the center at four and a quarter. Then I've got a piece of this really pretty gold foil vellum, and it is three by three. We're gonna die cut out something from that. And let me just tell you, this, um, this gold vellum is so beautiful. It's in the package here, so you can't probably see it very well, but there are six sheets in here. And there are three different spatter designs, two of each one. So this is really beautiful to use for your holiday crafts. Then I've got two pieces of basic white, four inches by five and a quarter. So these two are exactly the same. Then I've just got a strip of designer series paper and it is half an inch by five and a quarter. And this paper is from the same paper pack, you'll see. That's the same right there. And it is, let me grab it. It is the Season of Green and Gold paper. Again, it's in the wrapper here, so you can't really see it, but it has all of these beautiful gold foil patterns. So again, great for holiday crafting. All right, let's get started. First, I think I'm just going to stamp. So I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap. This is just a scrap of the uh, basic white. And I'm gonna use my Cherry Cobbler ink pad. So let's open that up. And I am using a stamp from the Greetings of the Season stamp set. I'm using this Love and Joy stamp today. So let me ink that up and just stamp it on here. Whoops, there it is. Let's put this away. And we're going to die cut this out. So I'm just gonna set it over here for a second. And one of these is going to go on the inside, and this is going to decorate the inside of our card. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my multi-purpose glue. Let's glue this together. And I have a, another card similar to this to show you at the end. But the one that we're going to make together is just going to be slightly different. I used some embellishments on the card that I already made that I will show you, but I'm going to use some ribbon on this one. So let's just go ahead and adhere that to the inside of our card. Let me grab my bone folder and give that a good burnish. And let's put this on the inside. Whoops, that would be upside down. Let's do it this way. Okay. 
And I will tell you, this is the first video I'm making from my um, temporary housing situation. <laughs> um, we sold our house last month. And so we moved out. We moved all of our furniture and belongings and everything into storage. And right now we are living in an Airbnb. We're waiting for our new home to be finished. So I'm in an Airbnb and so I don't, I'm not in my regular crafting space. So I feel a little discombobulated. Um, but you know what? I've got all my stuff and we're going to keep crafting. It doesn't matter where we are, right? We can do that anywhere. Okay, let's take this piece now. I want to emboss this. So let me move some things out of the way and grab my cut and emboss machine and get my platform here. And I'm going to use the embossing folder called Painted Texture. I love this one, it's so versatile. It just makes a really nice, subtle background for any kind of card, really. There we go. It is a 3D embossing folder, so it's just gonna go right onto my platform. And then plate number four goes on top. Take this. And we'll send that through. And I apologize for the wiggling. Um, normally my my old work surface is on a very um, sturdy surface. And now I am working on a um, dining room tables. <laughs> so it's a little, a little um, wiggly, shall we say, wiggly. So there we are. That's gorgeous. Let's go ahead and adhere that to the front of our card. Let me grab my glue. And here's one other difference. This, it's just so funny because I was so used to doing things a certain way. And then when you change things up, it's like I feel like I'm lost and I am just starting to learn how to craft again. And I guess I'll do that all again when we move into our new house. Got that. Now we need to die cut. So let me set that over here and grab my cut and emboss machine again and get my platform. There it is. And I'm going to put this number two plate in there. And let's. Let's die cut two things. Maybe we can do two things at once. I'm gonna do this. Whoops, I need the, I need my clear plate. There we go. So we're going to die cut out this. Oh, I didn't show you. This die I'm using, and it is from the, what is it called? The Golden Greenery die set. Here are the other dies in that set. Gorgeous. All right, so we're going to use this here. And then I'm going to die cut out my little love and joy. So I'm going to put this die. Well, I got to tell you what it is, right? So it's a circle. It's a, a kind of a delicate decorative circle. And this is from the Spotlight on Nature die set. And look at all these wonderful circles. I love them. I made a card uh, recently where I used several of those dies, and actually I'll link that one for you up here if you want to see how I used several of those circle dies to make a card. So I'm just going to put that right there, and let's get this plate on top. Okay, so I'm going to send it through. We're probably going to wiggle and shake. Wiggle and shake. Here we go. All right. So we've got 
our love and joy. And we have this really pretty leafy gold vellum piece. And I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and punch out some of the little pieces that don't need to be in here. I think that's it for that one. And then this one's got a few. Let's let's just knock those out. There we are. So we are well into September now. I guess summer is over. So I hope you enjoyed your summer. And we're getting ready for fall, which I really love. Uh, I love fall. So I think it might be my favorite season. Okay, here we go. Now we want to put our card together. So I'm going to use this circle and it's going to go on here. And I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to put this right here underneath it like that. And then we will put that on top and we'll pop that up with dimensionals. So let's get started putting some things on here. And I'm just going to take my my glue and I'm just going to put a tiny bit, maybe if I can get it to come out. There we go. Put just a tiny bit of glue on the backs of some of these leaves. I'm not going to do it on every single one because um, I like it to have a little bit of dimension, I guess you'd say. So not on every single one, but on, on enough that it wants to stay on. So here we go. Press that down. So a few of them are standing up a little bit, and I just like the way that that looks. It looks more natural, I think. Then this is just going to go right on top. So let's get some glue on here. And this about right here. Let me see if I got that on straight. Tilt it just a little bit there. There we go. And now we grab the dimensionals and we'll put this on. And then we'll get our ribbon and try a card with ribbon. There we are. So let me know in the comments if you have started uh, working on your holiday projects yet. Because it just, I don't know, the time goes so fast. And it I know it'll be here before I'm ready, right? <laughs> so I try to get start getting ready early. There we go. And now I'm going to use some of this ribbon. I love this. It's so gorgeous. It's the Cherry Cobbler and Gold Ribbon. It's just a quarter of an inch wide, so it's thin. It's easy to work with. And I don't know about you, but Cherry Cobbler is really my favorite red to use for Christmas. It, to me, it just it seems like classic Christmas. I mean, I like real red, too, but Cherry Cobbler... Just that, that beautiful traditional red, Christmas red, especially with gold. It looks really great with gold. So let me make my bow a little smaller here. Pull it tight. There we go. And let me turn it around here. It wants to turn. So I'm going to let it turn. There we are. Kind of wanted it small. I think that's good. So let's trim that off. 
and this side. There we go. And I think I'm just gonna put it right here. But I need a glue dot. Hold on, let me grab my glue dots. Okay. Sometime I should do a video for you guys and just like move the phone camera around so you can kind of see what in the world I'm working with here. <laughs> It's so crazy. Oh my goodness. All right. Try to zhuzh up that bow a little bit. There we are. Ta da! That's it. How cute. I just love that. So sweet. Love and joy. Now, let me show you the other one that I made. On this one, I just put some um, embellishments and what are these called? Hold on. They are the cherry cobbler and pearl adhesive backed berries. And I just chose three of the single pearl ones and put them on. So we've got a bow and we've got some embellishments. So let me know which one you like, you like better. I don't know, this one's nice because it's just very simple, but I, I always love a bow, especially a Christmas bow. So I think I might be leaning toward that one, but you let me know what you think. And thank you for stopping by today. And I hope you've started your holiday projects. I will be back soon with another project for you. All right. Bye-bye.